Right, just leaving the Dahlia. The Dahlia. Not quite sure how to pronounce it, but so is it. It's like most most names, isn't it? And the places. Dahlia. Yeah. So is it. Yeah. Like we don't know how to pronounce. Hoyt. Most places. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Newcastle to? Apart from Southport. After 500 feet, turn right onto B6357. And uh, Jed Jedburg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> like Edinburgh. Mind you, Moffat. I can't really go wrong with that, can I? Oh, that's probably Moffat. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so anyway, that's where we're off to today, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, well, that that, will, well, that site was a really nice site, I enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, um, nice and quiet, wasn't it? Yeah. I think most of the uh, caravans there, I think, are seasonal pitches, so yeah. there so weren't many other There weren't a lot of people there. around, were there? And the bathroom for the uh, shower and everything in one room. That was so great. It was a shower room, really, wasn't it? A wet room. Yeah. It's nice. You're yeah. going right here. Yeah. Take the next right onto B6357. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. And the, the town itself is it's very quiet. It's, yeah. Yeah. Well, I suppose it's the time of year. I think in the summer when there's a lot more going on. Yeah, I suppose there, there'll be a lot of people. A lot of people doing the bike trails, the, the seven stains and that sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Energetic stuff. Yeah, but uh, it was nice. I mean, the, the meal we had. Yeah, nice pub, great. Yeah. yeah, dog friendly and human friendly. They were friendly to the humans as well. Yeah. Yeah, but we yeah. had a little bit of a. Well, I had a panic. You had a panic. This morning, didn't you? You'd gone for a walk with other girls, hadn't you? Yeah. And I came back from the shower, and I think it's the first time. I've used my key to open the habitation door because you've normally been here, you know, yeah. and I've come back. So I get to the door and uh, I put the key in and it said for ages it wouldn't turn. Then suddenly it turned and then you think I opened the door without turning it back. So I don't think, don't think it would turn back. Anyway, I've got, got the door You've got open. the key stuck in the lock, didn't got you? got the key stuck in the lock. So when you came back, you just turned it and it, and it came, came out. out. Yeah, it's a little bit stiff in the lock. That's what I like to say, it's the first time it's been used. Uh. Yeah. So it did sort of, before you came back, all sorts of, oh, it's road. Yeah. All sorts of thoughts were going through my head, like, how do we go move on with the <laughs> door, door that won't shut? You'll have to drive along with holding the so door. I was thinking perhaps I'd have to, but it wouldn't close properly, so it's only half closed. Anyway, it's fixed, so... Well, I put a bit of um, silicon spray in it, and it's a little bit easier. But it just it's just got that sort of new, uh, tight new feeling on it. feeling, yeah. yeah, yeah. It could have been interesting, though, couldn't it? Yeah. How would you... What would you do if you couldn't fully shut that door? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. So we're on our way to Moffat. We're going to go via... Um, Brain's gone there, Lockerbie. Lockerbie. Yeah. Yeah. So back to the A7. Yeah, back to the A74, M74. Yeah. We can't get into Moffat, can we, till one o'clock? So. No, so we've got a bit of time to kill. Yeah. It's only what, 10 to 11. Yeah. So it's about an hour to get to Lockerbie. Uh, to Moffat, rather. Yeah. Uh, we'll catch up with you a little bit later. Okay then. I thought we'd stop in Gretna Green as we're coming this way. Pick up some food at the food hall. Food hall at Gretna Green. You want to turn right here? Yep, yeah, I think it's Where you going? here somewhere. Okay, thank you. Remember there's a big car park. Yeah, there's a huge car park here, isn't there? clear sign there. Yeah, go this way. Go that way if you're a coach. Yeah. It's 
see if we can spot uh, Dan and Mazzy's. Um, That's yeah. Lock. They're locked. Yeah. Support for choice again. Yep. So do. Cool. Right, here we go. Well, you wouldn't want to do your uh, weekly shopping there. <laughs> Unless you wanted to buy lots of beer. Yeah? Unless you wanted beer and <laughs> fancy cakes. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not nice. We've got we got some bread. We've got some beer. Yeah. So what more do we need? There's all the locks. Even more now, isn't there? <laughs> You're never going to find Dan and Mazzy's in there, are you? Well, um... So how many do you think there are here then? Thousands. Yeah. <laughs> you really ought to bring me a, a lock, you know, one of these days. You could bring me one. <laughs> I'm sure you've got a lock. No, I don't think I've got one in the van. But <laughs> see, there's other ones around here. And they're hidden ones. Yeah. <laughs> Poppy could get me one, couldn't you, Pop? See? Or Tara? You get me a lock, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, one of those. You get me one, wouldn't you? <laughs> I told you I'd find it. Down in Mazzy. <laughs> <laughs> Travel Trolls TV. There you are. Can I see that? I can't. I don't know. Can see yeah, you can see it. Yeah, there you are. Oh well. Mission accomplished, then we can go now. This is when you need a mic with a wind muff on it. I don't know if that. You can still hear me, but it's quite windy. You can see from my hair as well. Yeah. You can't see from your hair. <laughs> no, I've got it. Since we got it covered up. Right, just going to have a look at the blacksmiths, aren't we? Yeah. Right, so the whole thing about uh, Gretna Green was in 1754 after England banned couples under 21 from marrying without parental permission, love struck runaways raced north to get wed over the anvil at the famous blacksmith's shop. Alright. That's why we've been doing it. Yeah, in the 18th century eloping couples risked life and limb to escape furious parents and find wedded bliss. Still very popular with the tourists. It was a cooling off act that ruled that at least one half of the couple had to live in Scotland for 21 days before marrying. So you couldn't do instant anvil weddings. So, so but still still people made the journey to Gretna Green camping out or hiding in barns. <laughs> or motorhomes are available. <laughs> you gonna walk through here, pups? Hey, yeah, you walk through here. It's all that about there. That's the big dance sculpture by Ray Lonsdale. Put it in 2010. Go on then. Open pops. Huh. We haven't been in here, have we? No. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Lord Hardwick signing the 9th, uh, 1754 Marriage Act, which caused the first rush of runaways to Gretna Green. We have been listening very carefully the arguments for and against legislation to control the so called irregular marriages, which are taking place on our very doorstep here in London and, I might say, throughout the country. <laughs> Oh, yes, sir. 
Fasting. <laughs> She's talking about Outlander <laughs> there as well. That would be a clown, Jamie. Yeah. Brilliant, Roger. Tying over the hands. <laughs> there it is. Old Smithy, marriage, anvil. <laughs> Got the, uh, the bellows up there, isn't it? Yep. Oh, that's a big old bellows, wasn't it? Girls, this is where people got married. They still do, don't they? Pop your tower again, what? <laughs> <laughs> don't make any sense, does it, Pops? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Sorry, Poppy, I was yeah. talking to you, wasn't I? Yeah, all right, all right, good girl. Yes, I know, I know, we're having a look around. Come on, quiet. Puppy, please. Quiet. Shush. Quiet. Oh, that's what you're doing. Where do we come in? We're coming here, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, blacksmith had a lot of tools. Oh, yeah. The light plough. Tools and accessories of a blacksmith. Huh. Fire and the bellows. It's a pattern maker, so if it's casting metals into specific forms to make full size models of the final castings. So, like prototyping. Yeah, well, we worked with an engineering company that did prototyping, but they used mm. 3D printer. Yeah. So a similar sort of idea. You need to know what it was going to look like. Rainbow out, and they're celebrating love and diversity in Scotland. So that's to celebrate the same marriage act. Passed in uh, uh, 2014 to mark this, the historic event, students. Has Glasgow School of Art and invited to submit designs and that was it. Very nice. The symbol of marriage at Gretna Green. Countless thousands of hammer blows this anvil have left their mark and it was replaced as the principal, principal anvil in the forge around 1940. So that was the original one? Yeah. Wow. Bit smaller, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's a bit cold in here, so they had, you know, in order to preserve the carriages, are unable to heat this area. Okay. Heating there. Please do not enter these carriages. Oh wow! Look at that buckles and everything over there. Amazing. Princess Anne came here in 2015. So that's where the actual weddings now here. 
Alright. It's good on that, that it allow you to look in here. Yeah, oh, it's very nice. Pictures up on the wall. So there's actually two marriage rooms there, saddlery. The Richard Renison uh, room. Some of the dresses. There it goes. Gentleman's carriage, the Brotham. Different up there. You're off that way, eh? This was a four horse carriage, this one. Four generations of Gretna Green. It's 16 persons at the top. 16 people yeah. sitting up there. They'd have 16 people up there, <laughs> four inside, and four horses. That's a good, isn't it? Mm. Really interesting. Look at that one. Gretna Green since 1754. Bicycles at the top. <laughs> it's a William <laughs> Wallace. <laughs> yeah, that's my real love there, isn't it? <laughs> It's us, isn't it? Yep. Right, you're going to take off the uh, little cap. Go on. Yeah, oh, that's it. You so got it. Right. So we're going to put that round something. So we're going to put that on E. On E. I think somewhere in here. Where do you reckon? Up there. I think up there somewhere. You think up there? Yeah. Okay. So can you hold the camera? Yeah. Put it in there. He said, "Get it, yeah, yeah, get to the kitchen." In there, like that. You ready? I can not can't see around your hand. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Oh. <laughs> 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 Just kiss. <laughs> there we are. Right. So see if you can spot that. You've left it so that it's obvious. It's well, it's obvious until the, the, the lettering wears That's off, it. isn't it? Yeah. Right. Come on, okay, then. then. Get back. Going to Moffat, aren't we? Get back to the van or go get back to Moffat. Up to Moffat. Is it up to Moffat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Kind of a bit dreary, isn't it? Yeah, and the weather's turned a bit... Yeah. So, we're going to get warm in the van and yeah. speedy on the motorway. Yeah. See you Gretna on another day. We'll have to come back now, won't we? Yeah, come back and check our uh, locks still there. Yeah. No, that was nice because we could go around the uh, museum with Poppy and Tara. Yeah, yeah. Right, so that's the end of this video. <laughs> not start the next one.
and not the start of the next one. But we will, there will be a next one. Just got to find the road out of this to the right. Out of here. Yeah. So. So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, and we'll catch up with you on the next one.